Hey guys, it's just a quick video, don't really have a lot of time, but basically today in class we started doing an experiment to try and figure out whether certain solutions had ions present in them. Ions come from this thing called ionic compounds. And these are basically charged atoms that have uh, picked up an electron or lost some electrons to gain their charge. And they form these crystalline structures, which I'll show in a moment. And so the way that we tested whether these liquids were, uh, had ions or not is we passed electricity through them. So we basically connected a battery and a uh, ammeter to detect the presence of charge being flowing through the solution. And uh, if it had charge flowing, then we knew that it must have had ions present. All right, check it out, guys. We tried a whole variety. So tea, we did uh, coffee, we did salt water, we did sugar, and many different others. All right, check it out. See you later. Bye. So it's actually coming in uh, so, uh, crystalline structures like this one here, which is cubic. This is uh, an example of sodium chloride and all these um, uh, different alternating patterns of the, uh, the silver uh, ones representing the sodium and the, uh, the green ones representing the chloride ion. Now, um, when the things dissolve in water, the water molecules are actually able to get between some of these bonds in the crystal lattice structure and they're able to surround the ions and actually pull them out so that they can help dissolve the crystal from the outside and slowly pull it apart. This enables it to actually conduct electricity once it has done this, because this small free, uh, floating ion is now able to move freely in the solution and pick up a charge and transmit it across uh, to the other side of the solution. Let's check it out and... Did it move? One amp, just to be sure, so it's more sensitive. It in. I'll keep an eye on this to see if it moves. Nothing. Did it change? No, nope, so we're getting zero current. So just rinsing them off so there's no tea left over on the. Can you rinse them off and it out? No movement. Okay, I'll try. Did that move? Yes. Salt water. Did it move? I think it moved a little bit. Oh wow. We're getting more than more than point one. Did it move? I think it moved a little bit. Let's try it again. It is moving. So yes, it's so. To any change? No change. Zero. Therefore, no ions. We actually look for ionic compounds in regular water supplies, particularly when we're interested in trying to analyze the water quality of, uh, let's say, a riverbank or maybe like the, the coastal area. So one of the things that can affect plant life and, and freshwater fish is how salty the water is. And we can simply just take a sample of it and pass some electricity through it and we can get a reading. And saltier solutions tend to give a much higher conductivity reading. So more current will flow through a solution that has a lot more salt in it. And if it has less salt, then it won't conduct very much electricity at all. So you can use this to identify, is the water too salty? If so, how much? And then you can make some assessments on what you might want to choose to do to try and improve the water quality in that area. All right, guys, that's the final bit. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, see you. Bye.